Hi guys, so in today's video I thought I would do something a little bit different for my channel. I have done a couple of Q&As before but I don't know, I just feel like a, a lot like a lot of my recent videos haven't been that personal and you guys don't, I feel like I've got a lot of new subscribers and you guys don't know me that well um, so I thought I would do like a personal Q&A. I did originally send out a tweet saying that um, I was going to be doing a Q&A, like a personal Q&A on my second channel which is Soph Does Vlogs if you didn't know I have a second channel. If you want to subscribe to my second channel it's linked down below but yeah originally I was thinking of putting this on my second channel but then I asked again on Twitter do you guys want to see a personal Q&A on my main channel or on my second channel and the majority of people said main channel. So if you ever do want to be involved in these like future Q&As or whatever, um, then my Twitter is just Soph Does Nails. All of my social media is Soph Does Nails. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, and YouTube, and Depop. The first question is from Mia, and Mia is one of my faves. Um, her Twitter is Omaynards, and Mia, you are so cute. And she says, are you planning to go traveling anytime soon? I'm actually going to America, like when I'm filming this right now. I've said in so many videos, but I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos. I, because I'm going to America for two and a half weeks. Um, well, I'm actually going for two weeks, but then I get back and I'm going to a conference straight away. And then, yeah, basically I'm going to be away for like pretty much three weeks actually almost three weeks, so I have to pre-film a bunch of videos. So when you're watching this, I might already be in America, depending on when I'm going to upload it. Um, I'm going to LA for six days, and I'm then going to Florida. Um, I'm going with my best friend and one of her friends, well, she's one of my friends as well, but she was um, my best friend's like roommate at university. And yeah, the three of us are going to America, which is really, really exciting. So the next question is from Georgie, Georgie Aldous, I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. Um, he says, do you feel like you sometimes need a break from social media? And yes. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, sometimes when I'm filming videos, like, I'm really not in the mood to film. Um, and obviously, like, life happens, but I feel like... Uh, obviously YouTube has kind of become my job and I absolutely love it. I'm so so grateful that YouTube, you know, is able to uh, Be a job, but it's also my hobby. A lot of my week is like wake up film edit upload wake up film edit upload So like it gets quite repetitive um, But obviously I'm like filming different things and stuff, but yeah, I do feel like sometimes it gets to the point where like I'm having a bad day or like I'm just really tired and run down and I just don't want to like film and also in terms of social media um I don't know I feel like I've become addicted like so addicted to like Twitter and Instagram um but yeah sometimes I do have days where I just don't tweet as much and then people be like hello are you okay um but yeah I feel like it, it's definitely is important to take a break from social media because sometimes you know you're just not in the right headspace and Sometimes if I am not in a good mood then I won't film on that day and I'll just have like a lazy day and have a day off and then the next day if I'm in a really good mood to film then I might film like three or four videos in one day so yeah hopefully that answers that question but social media can be intense like sometimes it can do my head in a bit <laughs> as much as I love it. Um, also I'm going to try and answer the questions that are a bit more personal um, rather than the ones that are just like about makeup and stuff, just because I want this to be a bit more of a personal Q&A. Natasha underscore Joan underscore says, have you ever wanted to give up being a YouTuber? Honestly, no, not really. Um, I've never really wanted to give up. Um, it has it has got to points where I kind of thought, like, is this gonna last forever? Like, because obviously, in terms of social media, not every social media site lasts forever, but I don't actually want to give up. Lauren underscore M05 says, how long did it take you to start to cope with your anxiety and how did you deal with it properly? Um, okay, so, um, I'm gonna be doing a full video about mental health over on my second channel. Um, if you guys, watch my second channel videos and stuff then you will know that I have struggled with anxiety with and I can't even speak I have struggled um, with anxiety in the past and well still ongoing um, I know that a lot of people are like every youtuber says they have anxiety but um, yeah I am going to be doing a full video on my mental health um, because yeah I had kind of like a period well it started when I was seven and I'll explain more in my like full video on it um, and in terms of how long does it take to start to cope with your anxiety, it kind of went away and then it came back in my teenage years and I feel like, um, I don't know, it took me like probably like a year of having cognitive behavioural therapy before things started getting better. Well, actually, when I started my cognitive behavioural therapy, um, it definitely started to help like after, I don't know, a couple of months of doing that and 
yeah like I said I will explain it a lot more in my mental health video because I feel like it could literally take up like an entire hour so uh, hopefully that sort of answered your question a bit but I don't think it really did um, but yeah just look out for the video on my second channel Laura whose Twitter is LC2907 says do you want any more tattoos if so what are you thinking of getting um, yes I do want to get some more tattoos um, I'd really like to get one which kind of symbolizes something to do with like my anxiety and I know that sounds kind of like cheesy and cringe but uh, yeah no it's actually like something that means quite a lot to me because I did want to get a tattoo that kind of like symbolised uh, the first day that I ever got a train by myself um, which I know sounds really silly to some people but um, I think it was just before my 20th birthday, I have the date written down somewhere, um, I was able to get on a train by myself and go to London and that was like a huge step in my life and I would like to get something to kind of like I don't know, symbolise overcoming my fears and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know what to get yet, and I definitely do have placement ideas, and I have, I definitely do want to get more tattoos in the future, but I don't know exactly what yet. Isla from Pastel Zoella with two A's says, do you plan on moving out any point soon? Um, I really would like to move out. If you guys didn't know, I do still live with my parents. Um, I do want to move out just because uh, it's a bit cramped because I do everything in my bedroom. Like I film and edit and work and sleep and you know, relax. I do everything in my bedroom so it gets a bit cramped and it's a bit like constricting. Um, so I really would like to move out and have my own place just so that I can, you know, have a bit more space for my things because my room is getting a bit overcrowded because obviously <laughs> I have a lot of makeup and I have my lights and my tripod and everything in here. Um, so yeah, I really, really do want to move out soon. Um, but of course I need to save up quite a lot of money before I move out so um, hopefully I'll be able to move out next year, fingers crossed, I'm not sure, um, but I don't know, we'll see, who knows what will happen because um, ideally when I move out I'd like to buy somewhere or like not, you know, flat out buy somewhere but put a deposit down and um, buy somewhere rather than renting. I think it's Maya, either Maya or Mia, I think it's Maya at Lai Sug says how do you feel when you get recognised in public? Um, honestly I love it, like I don't know, at the start it was really really weird and it is still really weird but after like people then leave I like, oh my god that was so exciting um, just because it's the weirdest thing um, when you guys recognise me in public because obviously like I said I do everything from my bedroom and I don't know who's watching me so then when people see me and like recognise me in public I'm just like what? How did you recognise me? Like I'm inside all the time like <laughs> I don't know, it's a really weird feeling um, I do love it just because it makes me feel like so, I don't know, it's just so weird. It's really, really weird, but really exciting at the same time because I'm like, oh my God, like people actually watch my videos and they actually know me and they actually like, you know, like me enough to come over and tell me that they like my videos and stuff. So yeah, um, it is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. If you do come up and say hi, like, it literally makes my day, you have no idea. At Jojo Danielle XX says, what are the best opportunities that you've gotten from doing YouTube and the best thing you've achieved? I have had some extremely exciting opportunities through YouTube, one of which, well, a couple of which you will find out soon. Um, it's really exciting. Um, but yeah, obviously I can't speak about that yet. Um, but so far I've done some really, really awesome things. Like I was in an, a L'Oreal advert, like a L'Oreal campaign, which was so cool. I got to go and do like a photo shoot and um, be part of their like online social media campaign and stuff, which is awesome. Another amazing opportunity I've got through YouTube is um, I now have a job working for Makeup Revolution. If you guys didn't know, um, I do a lot of their social media posts and I post um, a video every week on their YouTube channel. So Obviously that is an amazing opportunity to have gotten. Um, there's been so many things, like collaborations with um, some of my favourite brands. Uh, not collaborations as in like, you know, like products and stuff, but as in like um, sponsored videos and stuff like that with some of my favourite brands. Um, and yeah, I've just had so many amazing things through YouTube, like opportunity wise. Um, and also obviously things like Summer in the City where I get to go and meet you guys. Like Summer in the City this year was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I really wanted to do a winter one. Um, I feel like a lot of people said this, but yeah, I really wanted to do like winter in the city or something. Vogue Jade with two E's says, what advice would you give to someone else dealing with anxiety at the moment? I would say, like again, I'll touch on this more in my mental health video um, on my second channel, but I would say to keep going back to your doctor until they give you help. Like I went back to the doctor I think like four times before I got something that actually helped me and I tried different things like um, I tried counselling, I tried going to CAMS and then the final thing that actually helped me was cognitive behavioural therapy. Um, 
So I would say if you are dealing with anxiety, uh, firstly tell somebody about it, like talk to your parents if you're comfortable doing that or like um, a family friend or a friend or even if you're old enough just take yourself to your doctor yourself and talk it through with them and hopefully there should be some kind of thing that they can do to help you. If there's not, just keep going back until you can get um, some sort of help. Louise F16 said, could you ever see yourself doing a nine to five job five or six days a week now? Uh, which isn't YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, like literally like, YouTube consumes my life. Um, I know that to some people they think that YouTube is not a proper job and stuff and obviously it's an amazing job to have because of like all the amazing opportunities you can get and the fact that I'm working from home which is really incredible like I love it as a job but it is a lot of hard work like like I said before I normally like wake up film edit upload and I know that okay there's so many other jobs that are so much more like intense and full-on than being a youtuber like people that work um, like uh, doctors like surgeons ambulance staff like um, you know emer accident and emergency staff like policemen firemen you know those kind of jobs which are obviously like so much more like intensive stressful work than youtubers so i'm not trying to say that like in the slightest like i'm not disregarding those jobs at all um but yeah youtube is still like a lot of work and i feel like i can never switch off from it just because i'm constantly on social media so sometimes my brain gets a bit like Phew. Um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely could see myself doing a 9 to 5 job 5 or 6 days a week because that was my original plan. Like, I didn't plan for YouTube to be my job, my plan was to be a graphic designer. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I could see myself doing that and I wouldn't mind doing it in all honesty. At Beth OK says, do you still play Xbox? Would you play with us sometimes? I don't actually play Xbox anymore, mostly just because I don't have time. And also I used to play it with my school friends and they've all kind of like grown up now, gone to uni, they don't play Xbox anymore. But I really miss playing Xbox, like I'm not gonna lie, I was considering buying myself an Xbox One and the new Call of Duty game just because I miss playing it so much. Alaska's Life with two E's says, did you ever sit down, did you ever sit down to film but didn't want to because of personal problems? Absolutely. There have been times when I've had to film videos and I'm just really not in the right like mental headspace and I feel like sometimes in those videos like you could tell that I really wasn't feeling it I don't know uh, sometimes actually people pick up on it in videos they're like Sophie seem a bit down today like are you okay um, other times people say that though and I'm like no I was fine but um yeah no definitely like sometimes when there are things going on and stuff and there's you know like issues that aren't to do with YouTube it is difficult but like especially if you have like a deadline for a sponsored video or something and you're just not in the right headspace like it's a struggle okay this is an interesting one Louise F 16 said do you ever regret going to uni so I'm just gonna give you guys a little life update about my university situation um do I regret it sort of um just okay let me explain i've wanted to get a degree since i was younger and i'm still planning to finish my degree um but basically if you didn't know i did a art foundation first i then did my first year of graphic design which i did at uni um but it was incredibly difficult during like my first year that i've just done um of graphic design just because like i had uni and i was trying to do youtube at the same time and i was trying to balance them and it just got like super busy especially when i started working for makeup revolution um, I did actually end up getting a 2-1, which I was really proud of myself for, for my first year. Um, obviously, I'm supposed to do another two years. Um, but what I've decided to do, just because everything was getting too much, and I kept on having days when I was just like, I can't cope. Like, I was literally like having breakdowns on my bedroom floor, like, I can't do this. So what I have actually decided to do, to do is um, I've dro technically dropped out of my current course, I've dropped out of my current course, and um, I'm going to be doing a distance learning program to finish the final two years of my degree, um, which basically means that I get given all of the work and the syllabus and stuff, and I just have to work through it on my own, at my own pace. Um, but yeah, in terms of do I regret going to uni, um, I, 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 uh, Obviously when I first started at university, I did not have this many subscribers and YouTube wasn't really so much as intense as it is now, um, so I don't, I can't really say that I regret it because at the beginning I had no idea that YouTube was like going to take off and stuff. Um, but I did just have a year of university which personally for me I didn't think was worth it because my tutors weren't that great and um, I, I don't know, a lot of it was like self-taught anyway. and. I then had a student loan debt of £12,000 because I took out the £9,000 loan um, for the actual course and then I took out another £3,000 like it was like maintenance loan or something. 
So I then had to pay back £12,000, which uh, was a lot of money for one year of university when I could have just done the distance learning thing and it would have only cost me £3,000, so uh, yeah, that's the one thing that I regret. Daisy Evelyn 11 says, do you ever feel like you get- oh, my cat's just woken up. Hello. Daisy Evelyn 11 says, do you ever feel like you get treated differently by people when they know you're a YouTuber? My cat's just come and sat on my lap. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Yeah, I actually do, you know. Um, it's it's been kind of strange just because like at school I wasn't the most popular like I had a nice group of friends and stuff But we weren't part of like the popular crew, you know, um, and a lot of people didn't pay that much attention to me um, But then I mean it's like when I now that I've left and now that I'm doing YouTube uh, I get the odd person kind of popping up and I'm like, oh, we were never really friends like I don't know it's kind of strange. I mean, obviously at the same time, like, the, not everyone, because some people just send me messages, like, really nice messages congratulating me and stuff, um, but then other times, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's kind of strange. And also, like, sometimes when I meet new people as well, um, I, I feel like sometimes if they know about my YouTube, then they're only trying to be friends with me just because I do YouTube, and I don't know, sometimes it's quite hard to tell, so yeah. I don't know. It's a weird one. <laughs> Gemma underscore trainer says, what do you do in your spare time that isn't YouTube related? That's a good question because a lot of my like spare time is like I'm normally editing or practicing my makeup or like, I don't know, just sorting out my makeup stuff. Um, so let me think. I watch a lot of YouTube, but that is YouTube related. Um, I watch Netflix. I watch Rick and Morty with Sam or I, I've watched all of Gossip Girl, of course I've watched all of Pretty Little Liars, I've just started watching Gilmore Girls, um, what else do I do? Sometimes I like to bake stuff, like I like baking cupcakes and stuff, um, I'm not very good at actual cooking but in terms of like baking cupcakes I can make some nice cupcakes, uh, I make mug cakes if you follow me on Snapchat you'll know what I'm talking about, I'm just trying to think, I have a pretty boring life to be fair, I go shopping sometimes, oh my god I sound like such a like basic bitch. I used to sing and play the ukulele but I honestly haven't done that in ages which is kind of sad. I also used to do art, but I don't have time to do that anymore. Like, I used to love drawing and painting, but I don't do that anymore either. By the way, if you think I'm sitting weirdly with my arm behind me, it's because my cat is on my lap and I'm just stroking his little head. I like to go out for dinner as well. Like, food is a big passion of mine, as long, like, along with makeup. Um, so yeah, I really like going out to restaurants and food and, like, treating myself to some food. Literally, like, all of my money gets spent on either makeup or food, which is really bad. Um, and yeah, I used to game, but I don't have time for that anymore. Lucy Jane GX says, how long have you and your boyfriend been together for. Okay, so me and Sam have actually been together for four and a half years, which is a long time. And somebody else asked, uh, Leah from x underscore underscore YouTube underscore underscore x says, have you thought about getting your own place with Sam? Love ya, love you too. And yeah, and um, that kind of like ties into one. Me and Sam have been together for four and a half years and I think when I move out, we will probably move in together. But at the moment, neither of us can afford it. So there we go. Also, a lot of people have been asking on my videos recently, like if me and Sam are still together. Um, we are still together, it's just that obviously he hasn't been on my channel in a while. We are planning to film another video soon, but because he doesn't do like social media and stuff, like, and um, he doesn't really like taking photos and you know, like putting himself out there, so that's absolutely fine. Like, I'm not gonna force him to be on my channel, but yeah, just because he's not on my channel, like, and on my videos and stuff, that doesn't mean that we're not together. Yes, we are still together. Okay, so that is all of the questions that I'm gonna answer. Um, I think I'm probably ha gonna have to cut a few out of this video because it's super long. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, hopefully it got, um, you know, hopefully you know me a bit better now and if there's ever anything else that you guys want to know then, um, I don't know, I'll probably do more Q&As over on my second channel. Um, what I think I might do is do like a Q&A every few weeks, uh, maybe, or like every few months or something, or just every once in a while and I'll get you guys to like ask questions in the comments on my second channel and then I'll answer like the most thumbed up ones or something, I know that Morgan Joyce does that and I feel like that works pretty well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for asking all the questions and if you want to be involved next time Make sure you follow my Twitter, which is Nails. And yeah, I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!